no, you have to let it's gonna move on its own. Watch. There he goes. Was that me? Side to side. That's side to side. That's a boy. Oh my god, it's a boy! I knew it! Oh wait. Wait, it's going wait. <laughs> Are you moving? Am I? Maybe you need to do it all there. Bye. Check in. Checking in. Oh, shit, that baby mama. <laughs> yes, oh. I did the dance. <laughs> oh my god, look at their stains all over. There's here, stains here. all over my belly. Oh a little chocolate god. sauce. Nasty. A little chocolate sauce. I think this is eyeliner. Do you think? There's a little, uh, a little powdered donut right there, too. I don't know. Gross. Oh my gosh. Hard to say. Er, this morning, early, for the first time, I felt consistent flutters. Previously, I have felt them very faint and just every now and then and this morning I felt a lot of flutters in my belly and that was so exciting. I didn't wake you up. I'm so sorry. No, I keep telling you wake me up when that happens. I want to know what it's like. <laughs> the flutters were so nice. Not only do I feel calm, but I think it had a lot to do with announcing that we were pregnant. Mm -hmm. It just has made me so happy. I feel free. Yeah. I feel like I'm not in hiding. I've been so happy. I mean, me personally, it's just like the overwhelming support that we've received. Everyone's so invested in this journey. Like, all of the artwork, oh the my artwork God. that you guys have made is absolutely all insane. The like, we're gonna we'll put a bunch of them right here, but that's are, special. We're they're gonna make really, a photo. really special. We're gonna make a photo album and print them all and put them in the photo album and. That way when our baby's born one day and can look through yeah. it and be like, this is how much people loved you and were excited for you and like, that's I'm, cool. I'm really excited for it. I'm so. sure it's going to be in the comments, but why is Stevie not sitting on the cushion? Oh, Charlie peed on the couch, so. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks, Charles, for peeing on the couch. Appreciate it. This is the belly. Look at that. Wow. How was shopping for the baby for the first time? I feel like most people would have already bought in so many things, but I think because I have been so nervous mm -hmm. and like, is this a sure thing? Is this going to be real? I didn't buy anything for the baby because yeah. the last thing I want is to get overly excited. You know, I, that's just, I think in the back of my mind why I never made any purchases. Mm -hmm. But oh, I got caught. Instagram knows I'm pregnant and they are coming for me. Yeah, I'm getting so right many now. ads. <laughs> they know my vibe now. I've clicked on one baby ad and now they just, they're attacking me with That's ads. It. And over. it's like seeing puppies when you see baby clothes. Mm -hmm. Like you have to click on it. I'm getting got on Instagram. Like I'm buying things. I'm going to disable the PayPal <laughs> account. Oh my God. First baby purchases. This was your purchase. This, was this my is purchase. your tones right here. I love the color. Oh, wait. It's so beautiful. But how are we going to find the baby? It's going to be camouflaged in the camouflaged house. Camouflaged and everything. Okay, but how cute is this matching socks Stop. with each Stop. Look at See these little pants? So beautiful. Why are they so cute? Matching socks. Can you find me clothes that Look, match? Look, now we have to match you to the baby. Yes. How cute, these right? These are super cute. This was a great first one. I probably won't buy any more newborn, newborn. Grow out of it really soon. But yeah. like, this was my first purchase. You know, I'm learning. So I'm from Quincy May. I got, I got got on a sponsored uh, Instagram ad. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And look at little matching socks. So wow. cute. Aww. It's just the cutest thing, huh? I love this. All the little, we gotta start putting all the stuff. We need a nursery. Preparing. Yeah, we gotta uh, start. I'm gonna start brainstorming. This oh. is not yours. This is for somebody special. It's for another boy. Another <gasps> boy. Uh -oh. Another baby boy. Uh oh. It's <laughs> not you. We can only in the background, like, don't forget who the real baby is here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you guys. This has been quite the week. Right now, we are living through this moment in history with Black Lives Matter. This is a movement that's been going on for a long time, but now more than ever, it has been incredible to see how many people are educating themselves, uniting themselves to fight for what's right, to stand up for what's right. And it's been beautiful, educational, stressful. I've felt anger, sadness, pretty much everything under the sun. And all while trying to also balance myself because I don't want to uh, put yeah, too much really stress on our baby. 
I really want to try and stay informed, stay educated, and also take time for myself to wind down and relax my body. And it's crazy how having this baby inside of me has also made me more passionate about these types of uncomfortable subjects. And I've had many conversations with family members, friends, difficult ones, but all in all, they have been amazing. I'm just gonna continue to do everything in my power that I can to spread awareness, to educate, to educate myself, to try and get people to see different points of views, to myself see different points of views. Anyways, today is our 3D ultrasound for the baby and I'm very excited and I keep rubbing my belly and thinking like, you are the best thing in 2020 for me. Like you are the best thing in 2020 for me because this year is just like, when the waves keep crashing and, and, and hitting you down and crashing and crashing and crashing. And I keep thinking that what a blessing this is that I have. And for that, this year is amazing to me. You know, I hold on to that. This is a very important time for me. So I am going to um, head out to my appointment and try to focus on the baby right now until, you know, I get back and hopefully everything's great. So see you guys at the appointment. Hi. Hi. How you guys doing? It's been so long since we talked. Been five minutes. See erupting static John. Yes. That's all you've been wearing lately, huh? That's all You're it the is. number one fan, I it's think. My clean shirts. I have five new shirts and they're all static John, so Alright, so Desi just went inside the office. I'm gonna be outside and I'm just waiting for my FaceTime call. Ooh, the jelly's warm. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Moving in every direction I don't want him to. Uh, okay. Come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> Come on, little guy. That's all right. I'm going to push him around now. How you doing, Des? Good. All right. Now we're going to go for the arm. So you got the forearm punching you. Yep. Goes a little fist. Yep. And the baby is like perfectly laying in a bad position for me here, so I'm, I'm having the angle weird. Ask him to turn over, Des. Right? Can you turn over for me? I got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my Whoa. gosh. He looks like a really cute raisin. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his hand up. Oh, God, look how cute! <laughs> wow. Look at it! Oh my God. Okay, kiddo. Oh. Somebody's got a very tucked in bottom lip. I used to be able to say it looked like so and so, and now these masks, I can't see shit. Somebody's got a very uh, tucked in bottom lip between the two of you. I don't think either of us do. No, this baby has a like a a heavy top lip. Okay. Or like a big top lip maybe. Yep, yeah, that's this is what oh your baby. Oh my god. Do you see the lip? Yeah. Do you see that? Look, see how it's yeah, it's it's puffy. But that's the that's the lip. That's, Wait, why does the lip look like that? Is it's it just a um a very full top lip. Very full top lip. Not a bad thing. <laughs> All right, so I got everything I needed. Um, baby's weighing 15 ounces, which is great. Dr. Han will be in shortly, okay? Okay, thank you so You're much. You're so very welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look can, at that little guy. Can you see him? Yeah, I can. Did he get a lip injection on his upper lip? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
How cute though, the little hands and everything. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Well, he's definitely growing in there, baby. I think you can put that fear to rest. Yep, growing. Growing big. Oh my gosh. Did you screen record or is it blurry? <clears throat> what? Did you screen record this or? Yeah, I screen recorded the whole thing. Oh my gosh. Wow. Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. <laughs> Come in. Hi, how are you? Good, good to meet you. Oh, we got a professional camera. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. It's old school. I love it. You're coming from Dr. Finky, right? Yes, Dr. Finky. Oh, we're going back in? Yes. We're back, back in. Back in. Wow. Excellent. The baby looks exactly the way it should. Oh, this I is love so baby. Too. Aww. Okay, that's cute. She was saying he had a really big upper lip. That's well, pretty normal. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is incredible. Wow. Very photogenic little one. Oh my god. Alright. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's like, who does he look like? You can't, how can you tell? He doesn't look no, like No, you can't, you can't tell, yeah. You can tell. Baby. <laughs> One baby, two baby. Cute baby, honey. Cute baby. She was kind of like dogging his upper lip though, right? right? Like I kind of felt a little like, are you trying to say like, something? Like what are you trying baby? to say? Whose lips? Whose lips? What? She's, when she was like, oh, his bottom looks really like tucked under. I was like, I was like, that's the wrong word, girl. That is the wrong word. I wasn't going to say, I felt the tension in the room change. <laughs> I felt it. How did you feel being on FaceTime and seeing how the ultrasound was going? What were your vibes? That's why when you were in there, I asked you like, how are you doing, Des? Cause like I could feel like yeah. that was my way of like checking in with you because I could tell that just by your mannerisms. I was trying had, really like, a, hard the whole time to just I know, calm. just like be calm and let it go. But it was something that you like, we built up that was like so fun that everyone was like, oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so cool. Mm -hmm. And then to go in and it just felt clinical and then it like no care not even clinical it just felt rushed i felt like i was at the dmv and like i was the last person in line at the mm -hmm. dmv when she was like doing the ultrasound and i just was so bummed because so many people said how exciting and fun this appointment was and kind of felt weird and like she was like oh one of you has a really tucked in lower lip like i don't know everything i felt was very negative there was some moments where she was like positive after she felt the vibe from me she started to be a little bit more positive but it was like oh, this kid is making it so difficult. This, 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 this. And he won't stay still. Oh, like, you know, I, I gotta push him this way. And all this stuff like, she kept saying. And but after that, the doctor did come back in and say This is what makes me upset. So that I told good. the doctor what she had said about the baby. I was like, why? She said that my baby had a super tucked in lower lip. Like she kind of tried to save herself by then mm -hmm. being like, oh, your baby has like a really nice, like fluffy upper, upper lip. lip. And I was like, like, come on, I saw right through that one. I picked up on that one. That was her trying to save herself. <laughs> but the doctor was like, absolutely not. Your baby has like, that's totally normal Super for healthy, that to look beautiful baby. that way. Um, your baby's like very photogenic. Mm -hmm. And she was like so sweet and warm and nice. And I was like, I wish you just did the whole ultrasound. Right? She was so much sweeter. She only just came in to just double check and make sure everything was fine, but it wasn't the experience I mm -hmm. wanted. So I am going to set up another appointment Heard at like it. at another place that specifically that's it's all about the fluff. That's just it. They're we all want about the fluff. the fluff. I want the fluff. <laughs> I want you to put a heartbeat in a teddy bear and I want a CD <laughs> with music with like the, the 4D. The cheesiest music too. I want like 4D, you know, 360 view. Like Spend I want. Spin the baby around. I want you jumping up and down. It's like our first like, baby. So I want all the bells and whistles. We'll take the extra package. We'll go the deluxe. <laughs> so we're, we already made an appointment in another place to just go and I'm have a moment together. That. And so anyways, that was the ultrasound situation. Okay, <laughs> it was not that great. It was not that great. We need to know. I want to hear. Okay. Well, we have lots of pictures on our phone. I was like, he looks like a little, look at his little arm covering his face. You see him? 
Is that hair? No, he's no, it's his, not his yet, huh? skull. Look at his little yeah. hand covering his face. Does he call them a little raisin? I was like, he looks like a little raisin. I think Steven's Especially nose. Right here. Doesn't it look like Steven's? Yeah. Like it's gonna and, be and Steven's the, nose. And right here, the eyebrow area. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, sister, is. Mira, tia. Uh huh. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna look a lot like you, but it's hard to it's hard to tell right now. He doesn't really look like anything. He's right there because I felt like a kick. Like he pushed you back. Like down. he pushed me. To, he said, "No, bitch, you can't get he up." He said, "No, you gotta stay here." <laughs> Mom, I tried to get up just now, oh or like gosh. I tried to twist my body, and I felt like uh -huh. like a jolt. Wow. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. <sighs> So needy already. <laughs> Just like mama. Oh. Mm -hmm. Daddy's outside making a pumpkin patch for you. <laughs> Look at you. This is our baby pumpkin patch. This is the baby pumpkin patch. This is what happens. Cute. I wonder how big they'll be by the time October hits. Well, I hope they're alive and I hope we have a whole pumpkin. Yeah, that's what, I hope they're alive. Because <laughs> we'll we don't know if they'll though. grow in here. We shall see. Cannoli and Charlie, you guys coming to help? All done. All done. All done. Pumpkin oh, pumpkin patch pumpkin. 2020. Okay, I brought a towel so I don't have to get my pants dirty. How did I do? Not good. <laughs> Let's not even go to your feet. No. <laughs> Oh my goodness. There's a few that need to go. <laughs> that one's massive. Make sure you get it as low as possible. Oh my god. Oh, I guess. That's such a big zucchini. You got a zucchini in the garden. I can't. <laughs> oh my oh my. Wow. That's a zucchini right there. Wow. This is so cute. This is so cute. It's like a mini um, Steven. Oh my god. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Um, Baby's gonna be chic. Oh my god, Anna, thank you so much. Stacking tower. It's like a never ending box. I swear, I Oh, this is my sister. Is that like a white one? Little leggings? It's the same one, but different. Yeah, I got like two of them. I got it from Michael's one. It's really nice. Oh, it's very cozy. I want to wear that. Aww. It was really nice going to Anna's house because we hadn't really been out uh, or Anna seen any of our friends for so long. So to be able to actually go and have like a dinner with our friends. Yeah. It's weird because I feel like I haven't seen a lot of people, so it was really nice because they gave us this super sweet speech about family and what an amazing journey we're about to embark to have our first child. And she bought us everything. It's a trunk, like literally everything. It's so funny because some of the stuff that Anna had bought is stuff that Desi that was I was about like, to purchase, like that was in a card that we were gonna check out. And I was showing things on, on Instagram, like black owned brands uh -huh. and like black owned um, baby boutiques. And I was sharing things that I wanted from them. And then Anna was like, don't buy that. <laughs> Just don't buy it. I already got it for you. And I was like, oh my God. I bought it anyways, because I wanted to support. So I figured how many, I could use so many pacifiers. Yeah. I still keep staring at it. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. We love you. Thank you, Anna you and guys. Aro. So nice. So what are we doing? I'm doing my body measurements for clothing. Right. So I could dress myself. Because you've been in lockdown and you can't go shopping so you don't know what sizes to buy online. No, I have, we have no idea. Look at okay. that belly. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do turn around. Talle de frente. Talle de frente. Which in English is uh, the front size. Oh. So we start from here. And all the way there. Right there. 19.5. You feel them? Now we're gonna do the bust outline. That's, that's really what I need to know. <laughs> so just, and that in Spanish you say contorno de gusto. Chichona. Chichona. Contorno de gusto. Contorno de gusto. You said 39. 39. 39. 39. 
Oh, Stephen's joining the Spanish So lessons. now we're going to do the contorno de cintura. Mm -hmm. The waist. The waist. Very good. Mm -hmm. Contorno de cintura. You like how I changed my voice on it? 36. <laughs> that means my boobs go out further than my belly. No, your belly's 36, your boobs are 39. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 39. Your boobs go out farther. Yes, that's what I said. Oh, okay, yeah. So now, what about the sleeve? No. Why not? What about because my arms stayed the same. Okay. Look at this. They look yeah, like sticks. Yeah, but we don't know. It has to be recorded. If you want to record it, yeah. but that's not what... Stop. <laughs> my arms look even tinier now with this. Okay, now boobs. bend it a little bit. A, a little bit right there. To the bone. To the funny bone. <sighs> you are the father of a boy. You gotta start passing out the cigars. Oh, you're a father you got boy. me cigars? Well, you're supposed to pass them around as a proud daddy. But now with the new modern uh, gender reveal, I don't know. Do you do it now or is it Aww. when a uh, baby's born? I don't know. Oh, Thank go. you so Aww, much. So oh my God. Congratulations. Thank you so much, buddy. And congratulations to me too. Yes. 21 weeks. We're 22 weeks today, but we skipped 21. We didn't update you guys on 21 weeks. Will you look up 21 weeks? Oh, I have. My phone's I know. recording okay. right now, so I can't really do that. I had to have well, a computer though. Well, 21 weeks for me, personally. Wait, does that mean we're 18 weeks away? Don't make me do the math right now. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Yes, that means we're 18 weeks away. Mm -hmm. 21 weeks for me was yesterday, okay? I'm advanced now, I'm 22 weeks today. <laughs> he was the size of a banana. Wow. 10.5 inches. Your baby, yeah, that's the baby right there. Wow. Your baby's legs are in proportion this week and his movements are much more coordinated. More blood cells, baby's drinking. Oh, while the drinking placenta what? is still number one when it comes to nourishment, now your baby takes in small amounts of amniotic fluid too. Mm -hmm. Baby's moving and sleeping. Mm -hmm. He was playing soccer in my belly. I still can't feel it, but it's so cute because every time the baby moves, Desi <laughs> like giggles. And it's the most pure, like, I happiness. giggle every time. It's so fucking cute. To think we only have four months left to go is crazy. Okay, so now we're 22 weeks today. Let's just jump right into it. All right. But pretty much 21 weeks, I'll always want to remember that he kicked me, and it yeah. was the best, like, lots of kicks, and it's the best feeling ever. So we only have 18 weeks looking. to go, 11 inches, one pound. One pound. We're, we've moved into pounds now. Wow. Baby can now perceive light and dark, even though, you know, their eyelids are still closed. Hmm. Watch what you say. Babies are beginning to hear and process sound from inside your body. Your uh -oh. breathing, your rumbling tummy, your heartbeat. Oh no. Learning to grab. Your baby's nervous system is sharpening her senses. I'll say his, which means his fingers are learning to grab tiny ears, nose, and umbilical Aww. cord. He's tugging you on the inside, huh? I think one interesting thing that you said like through like 21 and 22 is now when you move, like if you can't move too quickly because you feel like there's... I don't even know how to explain it. Mom, you were saying that you get it. Like when I try to twist really fast or, or like get up in bed, it almost feels like like there's like like a limb that stops me from moving inside. Right, right? Uh, because um, the, the bag ha is sitting in a place and you're moving your body, but the bag is still there and then, you know, you're... It almost feels like it pushes me back, like, no. <laughs> like, like, no, I'm, you're not moving. Don't move me. Is that why you've been so lazy? You should see my mom's face right now. Like, we're all, what are you talking about, lazy? I'm only building your oh child. God. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Ooh, they're gonna come for him. Lazy? JK, JK. You better say JK. Oh. What? Don't even try it. Get out of here, you stink. No, no. Let me go lazy. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm only, you know, trying to keep up with my life. Grow your child. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go. I was just gonna ask, how is it possible that you are so beautiful? Oh, stop. <laughs> okay, keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Wow, look at you. This right here, though. My little baby boy. A little. <laughs> a big boy in there, a big boy.